We accept and understand that evolution exists. But what initiates and advances evolution? Dr. Adi Livnot and Dr. Christos Papadimitriou explore the use of computational methods to answer this biological question. My research focuses on topics at the intersection of evolution and computer science and on the mechanisms of mutation and recombination from both a theoretical and an empirical perspective. To understand Darwin, we must understand that he made two separate points, not one. First, he said that evolution happened. Second, he proposed uh, an incomplete answer for how it happened. What is it that is driving the evolutionary process? And this left open fundamental problems. One of them, which is also a door to the others, is the problem of sex. What is the role of sexual reproduction in evolution? On this, Darwin said, the whole subject is as yet hidden in darkness. A genetic algorithm discrepancy initially compelled Dr. Livnot and Dr. Papadimitriou to begin their research. So we've established this research program that uses the mathematical methods and the ways of thinking of computer science to explore fundamental questions in evolution. Dr. Livnot goes on to interpret the relationship between sexual reproduction and the conception of evolution. We found that sexual evolution can be seen as a coordination game between genes that is played according to a powerful algorithm known in computer science as the multiplicative weight updates algorithm. Furthermore, according to Dr. Livnot and Dr. Papadimitriou, in a finite population, sex becomes a part of a randomized algorithm. Mixing up the genes is like a randomized algorithm that tests how well a genetic variant would perform in many yet unseen genetic contexts. Dr. Livnot and Dr. Papadimitriou's work on the role of sex inspired Hinton and colleagues in the development of the dropout technique of deep learning. Now there is this common intuition that sex generates a vast number of different potential combinations of genes and that this must be good because individual variation is the fuel for natural selection. But what is the point of presenting so many different combinations to the test of selection when just as sex puts them together it also breaks them down, they're not heritable. Here we consider mutations. According to Dr. Livnot, Darwin left us with the question of what causes heritable change. Dr. Livnot and Dr. Papadimitriou theorized that mutations result from complex biological processes that are themselves evolving. If genes interact in affecting mutation, it means that there is a flow of information from these genes into the mutation. So even though the combination of genes is transient, it transmits information to future generations through the mutations that are derived from it. A bit like a neuron passes a signal down to further layers in the network, generated from the transient combination of inputs that it received. This view of mutation as a computational event connects the problem of sex and the nature of mutation from a computational perspective. Darwin knew that there was a sleeping monster in the origin of species, in a chapter devoted to the laws of variation. In the first paragraph of this chapter, he wrote, I have hitherto spoken as if the variations were due to chance. This, of course, is a wholly incorrect expression, but it serves to plainly acknowledge our ignorance of the cause of each particular variation. And later in the book, he wrote that one day, a grand and almost untrodden field of inquiry will be opened on the causes and laws of variation. That day is today. Find out more in Sex as an Algorithm, The Theory of Evolution Under the Lens of Computation, a review article in the November 2016 Communications of the ACM.